Okay, here's another uh, practice question on transcribing DNA. This one is from uh, question number one, page 28. Uh, again, very common question, so probably a good idea to go over a couple of these. Uh, so it says, identify the sequence of amino acids that would be formed from the following base pairs of DNA. Again, they're telling you it's DNA, but we knew that because we see that thymine is present. Now, how I like to do these questions, I like to break them up into codons right away. They do call them codons for DNA as well, but I like to break it up just to make it a little bit more manageable. So we know this is DNA, and we want to now convert that into messenger RNA by transcribing it. So uh, nucleotides match complementary to that sense strand. And again, indicate that that's only one strand that we actually need in order to build messenger RNA but it has to fit complementary. So T always binds with A, and there is A. A always binds with T, but U takes its place. C always binds with G, and uh, that, again, is also called a codon. And once we have that messenger RNA codon, as we said in the previous video, we can now go take a look at the library and go find what, uh, amino, or what amino acid it's actually gonna code for. So AUG, of course, codes for, it's a start codon. That codes for MET as well. So this is also known as a start or an initiator codon. And it's just three base pairs that indicate the starting of protein synthesis. So all proteins are going to start with MET. So when we see that, uh, process of elimination. First one we know is MET, so we can get rid of B. And we can get, oh, I guess we have to keep D because that also is a star codon, like we said, but we eliminated one of them already. Let's go to the next one. G always binds with C, G always binds with C, T always binds with A. So we have C, C, A. When we go take a look at our library, uh, we see that that is gonna code for proline. Okay, once we see proline, now we can get rid of D because that was a different amino acid, and now we're left with A and C. So we have to actually do the last one here. C always binds with G, G always binds with C, T always binds with A. Take a look at that in the library and we find out that we have alanine. And because of that, we know that our correct answer must be A. Okay, thanks.